My first instrument was cello and I started taking lessons when I was four years old. My mom played piano but all she knew was heart and soul, the most common song ever played on the piano. <laughs> I just really like the environment that we're in. Here they like understand music. What's so awesome about Pow is that there's really no other program that can really even compare to, to what we do in, the, in these kind of intensive two weeks. Most other music schools out of, outside of this are, you know, the, the usual classroom setting where it's very much sit down, we're going to lecture and give you a bunch of theory and stuff. Um, whereas with Pow, you know, we're in a creative space already and, and we're trying to introduce new teaching methods that, that aren't so much, you know, sit down and let me talk and, and draw stuff on the board. Definitely a lot more interactive and um, collaborative because Pow Wow as a whole, right, is, is a very much a collaborative based project. You know, school is one thing, you learn, like that's all mind, but then when it comes to music, like it's mind, soul, heart, it involves everything. There's an art to performing, really, to being so vulnerable to like a large amount of people, and I haven't gotten there yet. I don't get comfortable with people very quickly, but I think with Pow Wow, because we all are in a creative safe space, I feel okay with them. These people, I think, it's really great because I don't know how, but you know, they're kind of like fast friends. You know, they're, you instantly have that kind of like chemistry with them. Like, I feel accepted in a way. Like, I feel it fit, like fit in the group because they all have different styles, and I know like we're all different ages, we're all from different schools, but one thing's for sure that we all have in common is our passion and love for music. Honestly, I've never performed music in front of anyone before this. <laughs> like, it was just by myself at home. Not even to my parents or like to friends in that matter. Like, I would put stuff out on like my SoundCloud and online, but never really had that like personal like association with my music with other people. And this is gonna be my first time. I used to be nervous about it, but since like opening up to like the powwow people, like I feel like I've gotten way more confident with like what I have. Even if it's not good, <laughs> like I'm still really proud of it because I put in work to it and I want to share that with people. And I'll wait till the next day tomorrow. I'll get over you. I'm back the next day, tomorrow I'll get over you But these kids, I don't know man, I feel like they're gonna be like really great one day <laughs> just because of their, their approach to it and they're already really open to other people which is a huge hurdle to get over like having other people critique your work like, it's a really big thing to me that, like, for me, it took a sec to get used to it, but they already seem like they're good at it, so. And my mind is, like, in the process of being blown right now from hanging out with them. I hope to be producing music, collaborating with a lot of people. I don't really need to be known well. I think I'd just be happy, like, with music itself. My parents kind of pushed me and made me audition, and. When I showed up, I was really scared and intimidated because I saw all this talent pouring in, but this has been honestly like one of the most amazing things to ever happen in my life because I've never had an opportunity like this. I'm about tonight.
somebody special I just picked up something strong They tell me the pain is mental But I feel there's something wrong It needs a chaser Last night was a mistake And this usually doesn't happen But you are my aftertaste You are my aftertaste You are my aftertaste And this usually ain't a problem But you are my aftertaste Try to wash it down